What's up, ladies and gents in Cyberland? So, we are coming back with another gameplay. And where are we going this time? Now, again, when I was playing last time, I gotta say, this does not make sense. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. And he wasn't here. The, I, I get what they're doing, but let's just, let's, let's keep it real. Riku was not at any of these places. The the other places I went to, I, I totally get that. Totally get that. But Riku was not at any of these locations. And not that I'm complaining, per se, but I'm kind of like, how is this part of his memory? Because I don't remember him ever going to these places in Kingdom Hearts 1. So, it makes me wonder, is this even Riku? Is this information being planted in his head, you know? I'm just like, I'm not saying, whoa, okay, I'm not saying it's not possible, but if this is just kind of weird to me now, like, every place Sora went to, okay, we had been there in the first one, so it makes me wonder, are they messing with him too, like messing with his mind kind of thing to make him think like, you know, he's been to these places because he hasn't. Unless maybe Riku was there at one point in the shadows or something. 
you know, maybe it was that. So, I mean, that's my tidbit. Oh, that's nice you want to give me that, even though, like, I'm pretty much done with this battle, but... <laughs> oh, no, it's just weird to me. As a matter of fact, let me check my cards, because... Oh, whatever. Shoot, I'm... I'm at this point, I, I don't even care. <laughs> let me... Let me just get rid of me. No, I'll keep them. I keep coming across rooms that have them. I'll keep the high cards. Let, let's see. What I don't want is this. I, I'm not dealing with that. Because, unfortunately, if it was Sora, I'd be like, I'd bring it on. But because I'm here, I don't get to pick my cards. Well, I don't think it's fair that I have to fight a bunch of dudes and they, um, they're using powerful cards, and for some reason, I don't get to get rid of the cards that I have to keep them in my. my my collection, so uh, I don't see the point. Of that. <laughs> that that's my one gripe about playing Riku is that I have to keep these cards, like the fours and threes and twos and shit. I'm like, come on, that, that's a bunch of crap. Darkness. And what I really need. What I really need is the one ability where it would just increase my points for my cards. That's the best thing I need. Because then I wouldn't mind using Take those this. cards. The, um, the lower level. Because you'd be like, okay, well, we gave you, you're stuck with a three, but you can increase it to a four. But no, we took that away. And I'm just like, you know what, this is a bunch of crap. that I don't care for. Like, I'm taking this damage because I'm being stuck with using these cards. And you're like, well, you gotta use the cards that you, that they, you gotta use higher cards or you gotta accept the fact that they're gonna, that might happen. I'm like, look, that didn't happen at a certain point when I was playing with Sora, okay? At a certain point, I was fully able to control my cards, my deck. Like, when you first start, I'm not gonna lie. The beginning of Chain of Memories is not easy. It's not extremely hard, but it was frustrating because, well, all I have is like level twos and threes. So how am I supposed to do that? Well, you have to do slights, which is fine, bloat and dandy. But the problem with doing slights is, what if you don't have a lot of cards? So then you keep using those slights, you can't reuse them in the battle. You run out of cards. So. um... It's, it's, you know, but I get it. You can't make it too easy, but it's just like, dude. In order to make sure, like, I don't get killed, I have to use a slight in my deck. I mean, these are just little things here and there, little gripes. It's not making the game impossible to beat, it's just observations of things I wish. Maybe give me a little bit more freedom with my character. I mean, Rico's cool, but it's just my issue is not me playing. I don't have fully control of the cards, I think that kind of sucks. World, but it. Yeah, 
lot of green cards this time. Let's see. Darkness. For anybody listening, yeah. I have to say that uh, yeah. I was never really that good. I was like, I was never really that good. But I did think there was like some good songs in the back. It's like one of my friends made a good point. It's like, why do you, you know, when she couldn't talk? Why didn't she just write something? But then I had to say, well, maybe they could have been like, well, she doesn't know how to write. <laughs> maybe she, her, her form of uh, literacy is going to be different because she's in Atlantis as opposed to being on on the, on the shore, you know. So maybe it was something like that. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take all that. that you have a Nightmare Before Christmas like character in the water. <laughs> like, how does that work? Ha! 
Yeah, I, w I would like to heal myself, thank you. That'd be great. I gotta lie though. I don't even see what car I want to do. I don't even see what car I want to do. I don't even see what car I want to
under the bubbles under the sea. All right, come on, bring it. Shoot. You're not lecturing.
Something for you, dog. Why did you go directly to that side? When I was like, oh. I don't. It's like I had no other car. Take 
Take out the big guy first, not the little one. The little one's insignificant. Like it.
Not a bad move. Alright, what you doing? Hmm. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. trying to do that. Ladies and gents, I will catch you on the next one. Ciao.